Welcome to the inaugural episode of Better Off Bald, A Life in 147 Days. I am your host and storyteller, Andrea Wilson-Woods. Whether you're watching the video or listening to the podcast, I really appreciate you tuning in. Better Off Bald chronicles my younger sister Adrienne's 147-day battle with primary liver cancer. The story also shows how I raised Adrienne from the time she was eight until she died at the age of 15. While I narrate this story in present tense, I use flashbacks to explain how I gained custody of Adrian from our mother, how our relationship evolved over time, and how we displayed our unconditional love for each other. Adrian's courageous spirit is revealed as she squeezes more life in 147 days than most people do in a lifetime. From meeting Jay Leno on The Tonight Show to spending the day with her favorite musician, Dave Navarro of Jane's Addiction, Adrian makes every moment count. She became my hero, and maybe she'll become yours too. Because as she lay dying, my younger sister, Adrian, taught me how to live. Now, a lot of people think writing a memoir is cathartic, that it makes you feel better. Well, it took me five years to write the first draft of my memoir and another five years to write several more drafts until I had a polished final draft that was professionally edited. It's one of the most painful things I've ever done. And just when the wound would begin to heal, I would start the rewriting process. It's like pulling stitches out of the deepest cut you've ever had. And finally, I had to ask, why am I torturing myself? Why am I so compelled to write and tell this story? And here's my why. I want the world to know what happened to my sister because it shouldn't happen to anybody. I want Adrian to be remembered. To give you an idea of the structure, the book is written as a journal with days representing chapters. Therefore, I'm telling this story in real time as it happened to us 16 years ago. For example, today is May 15th, the day before our lives changed forever. Tomorrow is May 16th, which is day one. Also, beginning on day three, I begin each chapter with a quote from Adrian. She was an avid reader and writer and kept journals for many years. So you will see her point of view as well as mine. So let's jump right in with this prologue. Before Adrian, August, 1985. I remember the day mother and I moved to Birmingham. As she drove into downtown, Mother said, there she is, Andra, Big B, our new home. You named me Andrea, not Andra, I thought to myself. Somewhere along the way, my parents shortened my name. We Southerners like to do that. We either shorten words, getting, going, combine words, gotta, gonna, or stretch words out with our infamous drawl. How y'all doing? Andra, you paying attention? Asked mother. No, but I said, yeah. I looked around. In a few months, my history teacher would tell me Birmingham was nicknamed the Pittsburgh of the South because iron and steel production was the city's major industry during the first half of the 20th century. It showed. It's not a picturesque place, but that day we watched as two rainbows painted the sky, splashing their colors across the dull gray of the metal buildings. Mother said, it's a sign, God's promise. Promise of what I wanted to ask, but didn't. Instead, I peered at the skyline, wondering about my new school, my new life, Moving to Birmingham was a chance to start over. My brother and father were becoming a distant memory. I was 13 years old, and for the first time in 10 years, 
I thought I had my mother's full attention. I was wrong. I didn't know it yet, but she was pregnant with my baby sister. Thank you for watching and listening to this inaugural episode of Better Off Bald, A Life in 147 Days. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for tomorrow's episode.